is up, everyone? Jordan and Uncle Danny here. We're doing a we're doing a bit of a uh, comic book haul unboxing. This um, this guy was a mystery box from one of the shops on CBSN. Uh, Michael O'Haver. Michael, okay. Michael O'Haver. So, sh <clears throat> so shout out to those guys. Uh, they opened it on the on the stream, but um, yeah, pretty cool uh, mystery box thing. That there, I guess. You open it up. There's this venom sweater chick with some Wolverine and Hello Kitties. Then there's this crazy chromium. Hello Kitty, Nightmarish Little Venomous Ponies and the Magical Friendship Zombies. Introducing Ponywise. <laughs> Warning, this this pony was deemed too scary to be put in this comic. Okay, smart. Rhino Boom, Enter the Dojo. Interesting. And the bear, number three. Uh, I guess Venom, some guy killing uh, that bear. All right, cool. So my Uncle Dad, Kind of stuck together. Is this signed? I don't know. It looks like it's signed. Yeah. Bro. Oh, 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 I see. I'll take that off. <laughs> Something chromium, pretty. Some guy with a gun. And a card on the back. That's cool. Okay. Nice. Good. Good one. Doc Strange, 30. Sweet. Colonel's 12. This is the last issue of the series, right? Yeah, but I don't know if that's series one or two. There's two. Those Some are like cards, posters. posters. Cap felt. It's 160. White Widow. <laughs> Sign. Nice. Free comic book day. Zelda. Cap and felt. Nice. What is this, Danny? Oh, I got that for my what? boss, dude. I got that for my What boss. is this? It's a metal. Oh, my boss, he's a huge fan. Okay. <laughs> Starring Fantastic Four, Marvel's greatest comic double feature. Nice. True Believers 1. Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. Mighty Thor 370. Sweet. Casualties of War Ghost Rider. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider Blaze, Spirit of Vengeance. Mystery envelopes. Okay. Oh, they're open already. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Venom uh, covering some My Little Pony thing. Scary. Uh, My Little Pony Skeletor? Is that what's happening? I don't know. Um, chromium. Looks like uh, My Little Pony Venom uh, with what's her face Harley, and this is like a silhouette of Ninja Turtles. Interesting. Very creative stuff. Oh boy, here we go. My nightmarish little venomous ponies, the magical friendship zombies. Red Lantern <laughs> version. <laughs> oh boy. Bulverine and friends. Bulverine, okay. And again, my nightmarish little venomous ponies, the magical friendship zombies, Venom and um, uh, the guy from Halloween. What is it? Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. Yeah. Turtles four. Doc Strange twenty four. Oh, Doc Strange twenty five. Nice. So much work. Savage Avengers. Oh, that's cool. That's that's very nice. <laughs> Savage Avengers twenty eight. So this is you're 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 falling into the trap, Danny. Yeah. The uh, variants are 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 gonna kill you. Oh, Odin's eye. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's gnarly. <laughs> Have you read it? Not yet. Oh wow. What is up with this cover? Wait, I'm gonna open this. Okay. Pro tip. Pro tip. You open your comic, flip it over, flip this over, 
tape it to your own bag. That way, when you pull the comic out and or put it back in, it never sticks to your cover. Oh man, this is cool. So this is a high gloss uh, printing with matte paper as well. I don't know if you guys, yeah, yeah, you can see the glare. So I can catch it. Yeah, glare on parts and matte finish on other parts. That's really nice. Oh man, that is cool. That is really cool. Let's see what these internals look like. This is number five. Who's this by? Wow. Okay, okay. Is there artists? Eight bucks for a single issue? Jesus. Joshua to start. And Thomas Gio really Oh, Gio really Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Killer. Really, really cool, bro. I like it. So again, watch when you put the issue back in. No worries of the tape catching a cover. Pro tip. Lifelong comic reader knows what he's talking about. A few damaged covers in my lifetime, let me tell you. Nyx. So yeah, it's going to be a bunch okay. of... Okay. Nyx. Nyx. Three. Nyx. Three. Yep, yep, yep. Hell Sonia. Number one. Scorched. The Scorched. So I think this is the Scorched. Got it, got it. The Scorched variant. This is the McFarland cover. Very nice, Danny. You should get this one graded. It's really a nice shape. Get it in. Get it graded if you can. The, the McFarland cover is going to go for probably more. Oh, this is a McFarland cover too. Okay. Up to you. Up to you. The Scorched One also. Very nice. The Scorched One. Again, in a McFarland cover. Girl Spawn. The Scorched One. Capuli Capulio, I think. Booth McFarlane. And I don't know who this is. Alright. Spider-Man 85. With more variant covers. Danny, you fell into the trap, bro. You sold it a set. Oh, I see, I see. Devil's Reign, Spider-Woman. Variant covers. Nice. Interesting, interesting. I'm not following Spider-Woman at all. Oh, look at this. Miss Marvel 2, first appearance. The shape shifting, Miss Marvel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dark Ages, Dark Ages, number four. Dark Ages four, old man cap. Woman without fear. When did this happen? Must have just must be recent. I think I just bought another one of those. <laughs> well, you know, Marvel Voices Heritage, featuring an all-star cast of indigenous creators. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's people out there that are about collecting the content, and there's people out there about collecting covers. So. <laughs> As I mean, if you open it up, it's every... It, oh, look. Bro, you got double of the same... No, it's a different cover. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Trust. Actually, Bro. I don't know. Is it? Try go back. Yeah, it's a different cover. Oh. Oh, no, Bro. I didn't get a double. Bro, <laughs> that's all right. eBay fodder, <laughs> eBay fodder. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. It happens. Yep. Ooh, Vampire Reverse issue five. Cool. 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 All right. What else we got? All right. Whoop. Namor the Submariner five. Bro, he bags his comics upside down. This is not okay. Look, look. <laughs> Namor is on here. When you flip your comic over, the flap should be up here. Not down here. I'm sorry, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. But it bothers me. Anyway, Despicable Deadpool. Nine, 291? Really? There's been that many issues of Despicable Deadpool? Okay. Oh. Oh. This is um, kind of old school. Like, I want to say it's from the 
80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 95. Yeah. Very cool. Joseph Lisner. Some painted artwork. Very uncommon. Oh, just that much. This is the rest of his hand drawn. Oops. Oh, risky. Risk. All right, name her one. Okay, name her two. 90s, name her three. 90s, 80s, 90s. This issue, Cable dies. I wonder what happens in that issue. <laughs> Despicable Deadpool. Thanos versus Deadpool number four. Are you a Deadpool fan? Uh, I'm a whatever looks cool. Whatever looks cool. Yeah, 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 that's fair. I think I just... You know what? This is messing me up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, no, it's just I'm, I put it down the way I assumed all the issues were going to be facing, but it's upside down. Upside down. 21. All my land couldn't learn. Too bad about the uh, Iron Fist TV show on Namor. I mean, on Netflix. <laughs> all, the ne all the other Netflix shows were good. Except that one. Good lord. Did you watch it? No. Oh, yeah. And then they're going to take all of them off. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they have to. This is a nice Namor set you got going, bro. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, uh, I have a lot of this, too. Exactly what happened. There you go. Daredevil, yeah. So the Marvel Knights line is, is really good, too. Yeah, these are nice, man. These Dawns. Yeah. The, the uh, oh, signed, signed by Lisner. Nice. Do you ever wonder why people do that with signed copies? Is we we're looking for the certificate of authenticity, often called the COA or their call. Um, back in the day, nobody cared about certificates of authenticity, but since comic grading has become a thing. Uh, the CGC grader guys really make it a point that you have that. Otherwise, it could be just a scribble. It could be damage to the comic. So, uh, it's an unfortunate world we live in. If you are a collector and this is going to be your own forever in your collection, it doesn't matter. Because you were, if you were there when you got it signed, or not even, it doesn't really matter, right? But if you're planning on creating it and flipping it, the COA is the, the key to make sure you have validation that that's what that is. I think this is part of the original Deadpool series. Deadpool Thanos. Deadpool Thanos. Okay. More upside down issues. Yeah. That's a good name or run roll. It's actually really good. If I if I remember it was really good. I mean it went for a lot of issues. Oh yeah, this is a pretty famous cover. 29. Beautiful stuff. This was during the heyday of my comic collecting, too. Oh, look at that. Dr. Doom on the cover. Matt's going to be so jealous. Another issue of Dr. Doom on the cover. Matt's going to be like, what? Namor was... A Namor... Well, actually, you know, Namor and Dr. Doom have a long history together. Uh, they were in a thing called Super Villain Team Up for years and years and years. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. How it's like kind of scales. That's cool. Man, these covers are really solid too. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Last inversion. Come on. I'm sorry, whoever's watching this, if you're watching this and all these numbers are out of order, I'm sorry. I didn't have a chance to like go through and organize them in order. Like I was telling Danny earlier, I am planning on doing a series of comic book cover videos where I just kind of go boop, boop, boop of the, of the same run, you know, of whatever, either whatever I have or if we have complete runs, we'll show complete runs. 57, ooh, ooh, look at this beautiful chrome cover. 
number 50. Uh, invisible woman being not a faithful wife. Terrible. <laughs> uh, 51. And 52. Or 120. First appearance of Airwalker. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why I have this part one of four Batman year three. I think I accidentally bought this thinking it was the first appearance of Jason Todd, but I made a mistake. Justice League, 272 with Hawkman on the cover. Because Hawkman is awesome. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. complete series. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, and three. Um, I got this because it's got the first appearance, comic appearance of Agent May, played by... Uh, uh, what's her face? Um, oh, what a brain fart. Ming-Na Wen, played by Ming-Na Wen in the TV show. Uh, uh, her ca Agent May is what my daughter is sort of named after, so that's why I wanted that. Thanos, a god up, up there listening. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, this, okay, I bought this because uh, it features Mike Zek later on in his career. N not, not the greatest work, uh, from what I can tell. Um, he is one of my favorite artists. Uh, one of his most famous covers is the uh, Captain America Annual Number Eight, where he's fighting Wolverine, and he's, he's uh, two of them are fighting, and the, his uh, claws are exploding on his shield. Well, actually, it's not bad. This cover is not great. This cover work is not great, but these internals are nice. See this? Okay, this is what Mike Zek was known for. He would do insane detail work on things. Look, look at the fencing. That's and you know, like these itty bitty details. Like this is the stuff he was known for in my opinion, uh, that always blew my mind when I, would, when I would open books and I'd be like, oh, look at the detail. I mean, I mean if you don't know Mike Zek, uh, it's okay. But definitely see if you can find something that he did. Uh, he did a run on Punisher. He did a run in Captain America. He did a run in Shang-Chi, the original run. And um, man, his, his detail work on structures and things like that were just next level like, unbelievable anyway anything you want to add Uncle Danny? No? go buy comics uh, as Uncle Jesse would say if you see a friend without a comic in his hand give him one so they can read read responsibly and we will see you next time peace